Living in the age of information means that there is an overwhelming amount of information that exists that we have to sort through. Books, news articles, social media, and websites. And not all information is created equal. Some of it can be inaccurate or biased, which means that it favors one side of an issue over another. When doing research and writing papers, it's important that you look for quality sources. This skill is also important outside of school so that you can think critically, evaluate your sources, and make informed decisions on things like current events and which candidate to vote for, and what car to buy, or what job to apply for. You may be asking yourself, but how do I know whether the information I've found is of good quality or not? Well, you can use the CRAP test. The CRAP test is an acronym where each letter stands for a criteria you can use to evaluate sources of information. The C stands for currency, the R for relevance, the first A for authority, the second A for accuracy, and the P for purpose. So let's explore each of these in a bit more detail. So for currency, you want to ask yourself when. When was the information published or posted, and has it been revised or updated? Because some information has an expiration date, especially in disciplines like science or medicine, where new discoveries are made all the time. For example, if you're looking at a source from 15 or 20 years ago, it may have Pluto listed as a planet. But in 2006, Pluto was demoted to a minor planet or a dwarf planet. So the outdated information you found would have inaccuracies. You also want to take into account the context of your topic. Does it require current information? Or are you taking on a more historical perspective? For instance, if you're doing research on the American Revolutionary War, it'd be acceptable to include a source from the 1700s. Next is relevancy, where you want to check that the information relates to your topic. You can look at the title of most books and websites to determine if they are relevant, and some journal articles include an abstract or short summary that lets you know what the article is about, which is a great place to look to figure out if that article is relevant to your topic. You also want to ask yourself, who is the intended audience, and is the information at a, written at an appropriate level? Because you wouldn't want to include a source in your college paper that is written for elementary school kids. And have you looked at a variety of sources before determining that this is the one you will use? Because ultimately you want to ask yourself, are you comfortable citing this source in your research paper? If the answer is no, then that source probably isn't appropriate and you should continue searching. The first A is for authority. Authority deals with who. Who is the author and what are their credentials? You can look at an author's education level and how long they have worked in the field to determine if they are qualified to write on the topic. Also, authority is contextual, so if an author is considered to be an expert in a specific discipline like sociology, does it mean they are an expert in another discipline like biology? The second A is for accuracy. I like to break this down into two types of accuracy. The first is factual accuracy. Can you verify any of the information in another source? This is called lateral fact checking or from personal knowledge. Has the source been peer reviewed? Is the information supported by sufficient evidence? Have they cited their sources? You can look for a references section. The second type of accuracy is grammatical. If a source has spelling, grammar, or typographical errors, that's a big indicator that this source is not reliable. The last letter is P, which stands for purpose. Purpose is all about why. Why does this source exist? Some sources of information exist to sell us a product, some solely to entertain us, and others to persuade us into thinking a certain way. Other sources exist to inform us about news or teach us new things. Sometimes the purpose of a source is obvious and other times it can be unclear. Sometimes sources can purposefully try to trick us. Keep a sharp eye out for bias and opinion-based arguments. Sources that are supported by factual evidence 
are of a higher quality. And that's the crack test. You can use it kind of like a checklist while doing your research, asking yourself these questions. Is this information current? Is this information relevant? Was it produced by someone with authority? Is this information accurate? And what is this information's purpose? But the crap test is not a catch-all for evaluating sources. If you have questions about the quality of a source, please reach out to a librarian. Thanks for watching.